Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's time for a Lakers and NBA playoffs update. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm back at my graveyard today, but I am sitting under this tree here, and you may hear a little wind noise because it is an overcast, a little bit breezy, and a little bit sprinkly day. I'm actually trying to stay under the tree to stay out of the rain and out of the sprinkles to film this video for you. As far as the NBA playoffs are concerned, we have made it into round two. So I wanted to share with you in the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference, which teams have made it into round two and are fighting for the final round. For the Eastern Conference playing right now are the Bucks against the Celtics and the Raptors against the 76ers. For the current order of what place these teams are in right now in the Eastern Conference, in first place are the Bucks. In second place are the Raptors. In third place are the 76ers. And in fourth place are the Celtics. As far as the Western Conference is concerned, which of course is the conference that I have been paying closer attention to, these are the teams that are fighting for the final round right now. The Warriors versus the Rockets and the Nuggets versus the Trailblazers. And this is the order that they are in as of right now. In first place are the Warriors. In second place are the Nuggets. In third place are the Trailblazers. And in fourth place are the Rockets. So some of these teams are in their first and second game right now, trying to get through the second round of the playoffs. As far as the Warriors and the Rockets are concerned, they've had their first game and the Warriors won. The final score was 104 Warriors, 100 Rockets. So they just barely pulled out a win, but they did win game one. So we are moving on to game two. I have been keeping a close eye on the Warriors. As you know, they are my second place team, after the Lakers, of course, and they are who I am voting for to win the finals. They actually struggled in the first round playing against the Clippers. They were in eighth place coming into the playoffs while the Warriors were in first place. So I actually thought it was going to be an easy slam dunk for the Warriors, but they struggled and they actually lost a couple of games to the Clippers and it was very touch and go in the last game for the first half. Second half, the Warriors really took over and pulled away and pulled ahead. And of course the Clippers were sad because that knocked them out of the playoffs. So now the Warriors have moved on to the Rockets. I love the Rockets, they're a great, great team. They have Chris Paul, they have James Harden. They are a really, really great established team. And I think this is going to be a wonderful round two of the playoffs. I think it's gonna be really exciting to watch. As soon as we make it to the next round, I'll make sure, of course, to let you know who made it into the final rounds of the playoffs, and we'll be moving on to the finals, of course, once that's done as well. Let's head into some Laker updates. Since Luke Walton left the Lakers, there have been some allegations of some sexual misconduct. It sounds like the Lakers are standing behind him in this sexual assault allegation and that they believe that he is in the right and that this is just something that has been brought up out of the blue that is absolutely untrue. The Lakers are still interviewing some coaches, but I will tell you that we do need some great players on this team. We need somebody to step in and make some choices about who's gonna be joining the Lakers so that we can have an amazing season for 2019 and 2020. I'm really still very interested in Kevin Durant. There has been some talk that Kevin Durant is slightly pulling away from the Warriors. It's gonna be really hard if he wins with them again for him to choose to step away. But there has been some talk that he is pulling away slightly and considering the fact that he may not be playing with them next season. I still am hopeful that Kevin Durant will be our choice for our free agent in the summer of 2019. I know that we have, um, it's been said anyways that the Lakers have, a lot of money set aside for a big player to come in and assist LeBron. I am still hopeful that it will be Kevin Durant. He is my number one choice, of course. I've told you that in the past. 
He is an amazing player and I have just continued to watch him on the Warriors. He can pull the team together when everyone else is falling apart. He can make it happen and he can win the game for them. He's done it in the past in playoffs and finals as well. In other Laker news, there have been some interviews with LeBron and I have been reading some information about some things that were discussed when LeBron came to the team because he was such an amazing player. There were just projections that the Lakers were going to be at a minimum, a mid-tiered team in the playoffs this year, which clearly didn't happen. Part of which is because of all of the injuries and illnesses, and the other part is that this is just a really young team with one amazing player trying to come together and make it happen and bring a win to get them to the playoffs. Clearly that didn't happen this year, but LeBron is adamant that next year is the year they are going to be making it into the playoffs. They are going to be fighting as hard as ever. They are all working to become healthy, to make sure that any of their injuries are healed, taking care of their bodies, and making sure that they are resting as necessary right now in their downtime so that when they have to come together and really start practicing hard and getting ready for next season, that they are all ready and in tip top shape. LeBron has still been continuing to counsel and work with some of the younger players and help them learn how to become a seasoned player because now some of these young players have been one season with LeBron and here shortly they're going to be going into their second season with LeBron. A very seasoned amazing player. They have so much that they can learn from him. He's willing to teach them. He also has wonderful people on his team like Rajon Rondo. I'm hoping that they re-sign his contract because he has as well as a leader on this team. He's a seasoned player and he's willing to step up and help some of these young players become amazing. So between LeBron, Rajon Rondo, players like that, I think that the Lakers have a chance next year of making it into the playoffs if we do get one great, strong seasoned player this summer. Kevin Durant is still my pick, but I know the Lakers are gonna do what's best for their team. I know LeBron is really an integral part of making this choice as well and deciding who they're going to choose for their team to be complete, to be the best, to make it to the playoffs in the 2019-2020 season, which would be the 2020 playoffs. I'm already looking ahead toward that. But for now, I'm going to continue keeping an eye on the 2019 playoffs and keeping you updated as soon as I know anything new. I'm gonna keep watching those Golden State Warriors and cheering for them for this playoff season. And I will give you any updates along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to come back soon for more Lakers and NBA playoffs updates. Bye.